board here and it has pictures of fun guy on it Let's go check out the tournament. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. Welcome, contestants, to the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilya, a senior Immorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not! The wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen. A renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, 
he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promise to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? Ah, no, that's not it. It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the Academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra more off. There are basically no drawbacks. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Huh? Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So... You're competing too? Huh? You know us? But... What's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh... Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the Beast Tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Ania. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the Wisdom Orb early on. Anyway... My name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right, then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? Yes. 
This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the Wisdom Orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this swan next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. You just go after elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Pinemon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Uh, thanks, but, uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro 1 anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. <laughs> <laughs>